top five strangest flying animals plenty of animals fly this is no surprise to anyone who actually comes from earth however there are plenty of flying animals that are really gliding versions of other animals number five flying frog flying frogs have apparently evolved from several different lines of frog in most places in the world where there are tree dwelling tropical frogs they develop their parachuting ability as a means of predator evasion and fortunately lack the pan sweating ability of flying lizards and snakes because even a giant house sized frog would be inherently adorable number 4 flying fish okay no more jumping out of trees these guys live in the ocean while flying from one tree to another is impressive leaping out of the ocean and gliding 160 feet is awesome the record for a sustained glide by a flying fish is at 1300 feet at a speed of 42 miles per hour they can fly up to 20 feet vertically into the air and sometimes accidentally strand themselves on ships these are impressive numbers for an animal that is generally designed to swim for a living and can't even breathe air. Number 3 Mobula Ray What is 17 feet across, weighs over a ton and can launch itself out of the sea? Why a Mobula of course? As rays go, they are only second in size to the manta ray and they can jump as high as 6.5 feet out of the water. Number 2 Flying Lizard we are of the mind that lizards, the, at least the small ones, are kind of cute. They often have big doe-like eyes and rid the world of bugs. However, we are also of the mind that anything that drops on you from a tree unexpectedly is instantly frightening. They have been known to glide as far as 195 feet while only losing 30 feet in height from the initial jump. Unlike the flying mammals, they don't have loose skin strung between their arms and legs for gliding, but rather extended ribs, which makes them about the only thing in nature to achieve a superpower. Number 1 Flying Squid To escape predators in the ocean, these flying squid will speed away by shooting a jet of water. They actually display behaviors that show they actively maintain their glide, meaning they may not be gliders at all and may actually be flying squids. They act very much like the flying fish, using their ability to evade predators and also wind up on ship decks. Scientists aren't exactly sure how they manage to launch themselves or maintain their flights, which adds a layer of mystery to the already weird fact that they are cephalopods that can take the air and glide.